Pregnancy is by far the most important experience for women and humans as a whole as the continuation of our race basically depends on this process. And for most women, this period is a moment of great joy and excitement. The feeling of carrying another human being inside one's body is almost miraculous and magnificent. It may also lead you to think that you are part of a grand, magical creative project of producing another soul within you. Unfortunately, for many, pregnancy isn't as joyous or magical and can even become a time where expecting moms can experience serious sleep disturbances, fatigue, morning sicknesses, and other related complications that can at times be life-threatening. Some moms even say that there is a huge misconception about pregnancy and the whole process starting from trying to conceive to the first trimester, to labor, and even the aftermath that should not be viewed separately. One of the reasons for the confusion and lack of clarity about what to expect and what to do and not to do among moms to be is that there is too much contradicting information out there and are bombarded with countless lists of warnings and pregnancy tips coming from many sources that claim to be experts. But it's very important for every woman to understand that every pregnancy is unique and should treat it as such. But there are some universal rules to follow that have been proven to be in some way applicable to every case. And here we'll see 10 pregnancy no-nos that every pregnant woman should avoid in order to guarantee the safety of her baby as well as herself. But before we start, make sure to subscribe to our channel so you don't miss any of our videos that we upload every single day. No cats. Even though it is said that it's not necessary to give up your cats during pregnancy because of the potential dangers of cat litter and that you can reduce the dangers by avoiding cleaning cat poop, the seriousness of the consequences if you pick this illness that carry a parasite called toxoplasmosis that can cause miscarriage needs better management. Your well-being and your child's safety should come first at this critical time. Even though your chance of being infected by the parasite is low, it's always good to be on top of things and avoid any risks regarding your health, especially when you're expecting to bring a child into this world. Now, having said that, it might sound cruel to get rid of your cat that you treat like a family member and probably had around for a long time. There is no need for goodbyes. You can ask families and friends to keep your cat until you have your baby and can bring back your beloved pet as soon as you're home from the hospital. This will probably lessen the guilt you might feel if you have to give up your favorite companion. No hot yoga. This is especially dangerous at the early stages of a pregnancy, and women are advised to stay away from this practice that is exercised in studios heated up up to 40 degrees Celsius, exposing the baby to excessive heat that can cause maternal hyperthermia, which could result in birth defects like neural tube defects and other malformations. In addition to the loss of fluids with heat dissipation and dehydration, women in their first trimester are at increased risk of dizziness and fainting as a result of low blood pressure. This could be another reason to avoid this exercise which demands a lot of energy and strength. Stay away from saunas, jacuzzis and tanning beds. This is a similar concept to the hot yoga practice with regards to imbalance of your body temperature and room temperature. Your body core temperature will rise dangerously because it's unable to lose heat effectively, especially if you are carrying a baby and your body is under stress due to pregnancy. This may cause overheating and increase your baby's body temperature, which can affect their healthy development. Tanning while pregnant will harm the mother more than the baby. During pregnancy, many hormonal changes are experienced by the mom-to-be, including one that affects pigmentation and a formation of melanin is activated which results in big spots on the skin, getting even bigger by the action of the ultraviolet rays. So better to delay these activities until after delivery. Avoid traveling. Whether it's by car, a yacht or an airplane, it's mostly okay for pregnant women to travel. But the fact that your body goes through significant change during long travel, especially inside an aircraft that is at 30,000 feet, it can be pretty uncomfortable for anyone, let alone a pregnant woman. But the issues for women with complicated pregnancies are more serious and they should consider postponing their travel plans until after they have their babies with no issues. But even for healthy pregnancies, there should be certain precautions taken when it comes to traveling to hostile areas and places that might cause the mother to be ill, resulting in hurting the baby. Cut fish from your diet temporarily. Expecting moms are often advised to make sure they consume fish with low mercury, as fish with high mercury has been linked with developmental delays and brain damage for the fetus. This includes swordfish, shark, tilefish, and king mackerel. 
Certain types of fish used in sushi should be avoided, as well as smoked seafood and raw shellfish. And even though it is safe to eat canned tuna, you should limit your consumption as tuna contains mercury in small amounts, but too much of it could harm your baby's nervous system. In addition to this, it's important to cook the seafood you're allowed to eat while pregnant, well done, and keep away from raw seafood completely. Avoid soft cheese. This type of cheese may contain Listeria bacteria, which can expose you to a disease called Listeriosis, resulting in premature birth and even miscarriage if left untreated. The soft cheese you should avoid include Brie, Camembert, Roquefort, Feta, and Mexican-style cheese. Hard cheese are generally speaking safe to eat, but you should always check whether they were made from pasteurized milk. Pasteurization will kill all potential harmful pathogens and save you from bacterial contamination that is hazardous to you and your baby's health. Stay away from tattoos, piercings, laser hair removal, and coloring your hair. When it comes to tattoos and piercings, the biggest concern for pregnant women is running the risk of infection. As not all parlors meet the safety standards when it comes to keeping needles and other equipment clean. And these dirty needles can spread infections like Hep C and HIV. In the event of this happening, the risk is particularly dangerous as this disease can be contracted to babies during birth. Aside from this, the body and skin expand significantly and tattoos could contribute to the number of stretch marks on the skin. With laser hair removals, it's better not to do it during pregnancy, but it's especially important to avoid breast, abdominal, and bikini areas. Coloring your hair is also another confusing topic, as most studies show that the permanent and semi-permanent hair dye are not highly toxic and are okay to be used during pregnancies. But many health professionals argue that women should wait until their second trimester and completely avoid coloring your hair if you have an infected or irritated skin, as you may absorb more of the chemicals. Do not donate blood while pregnant. Donating blood while pregnant could pose serious problems both for the mother and the baby. It's even advised not to donate blood until six weeks after delivery. Even though the amount of blood in your body increased by 50% during pregnancy, this blood should be kept in your body as there may even come a time where a pregnant woman is supposed to give blood for later use of blood transfusion for herself during delivery. Plus, donating blood could cause stress to your baby's circulation, which could potentially bring complications to the otherwise perfect pregnancy. Avoid herbal tea. You might find this surprising as herbal teas are known for their health benefits and calming effects. But some of the popular herbal teas are not only unsafe but dangerous to pregnancies as their consumption has been linked to premature contractions as they are found to contain larger amounts of the herbs than those found in common foods and drinks making them unsafe to a fetus. And taking large amounts of some herbs such as peppermint and red raspberry leaf could lead to increased risk of preterm labor. In addition to this, it's advised not to drink flavored tea as excessive consumption could poison the baby and cause congenital defects or even provoke a spontaneous abortion. So it's absolutely necessary to choose between the many kinds of these teas to avoid any complications to your pregnancy. And finally, don't read too many pregnancy books. Nowadays, there is an endless list of must-read books and articles for expecting mothers. And choosing between these to get the best advice can become stressful in itself, and can make it very difficult for a woman to correctly interpret the different aspects of her pregnancy and possible dangers facing her unborn child. Obsessing about the outcomes of your every move could have an adverse effect and believing every single line of pregnancy do's and don'ts can actually be useless and at times dangerous. Realizing that every pregnancy is different and not every advice is best practice for you is the only way to get through this confusion. And besides, if women could give birth safely a thousand years ago, it's safe to say that women in the 21st century have nothing to worry about, especially with a healthy pregnancy. You can share your ideas and experiences in the comment section below. Let us know if you agree with our list. And if you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to our channel, and hit that bell button to be notified for our daily content. And thanks for watching.